So hey you all. So this is a today's POTD. Okay, the POTD title is Quick Sort on Linked List. So we are given a linked list. We have to solve a given linked list using Quick Sort. So so let's get to, straight to the code, and I'll explain uh, all the, all the code. So at first, what we're doing is so we, so we are given a function Quick Sort. Okay, the default function. So what we are doing is we have to first find the tail because the the in linked list we don't know the last element. So first we are finding the tail. For that find tail method, for, we are using the find tail method simply run, traverses the loop, and if the loop doesn't uh, basically uh, if the next part of the element uh, of the node doesn't get to the null, so we'll return it. If, if the condition R fails, we'll simply return it. The return node will be our tail, the endpoint of the node. Okay. Now we are having a function of Q's QSRT, which is quick sort, our custom quick sort function, which will perform the recursively the quick sorting algorithm. So if since it's recursion, we we, we you know we need to have a, a base condition. The base condition will be that head must not be equal to null. That is, if when we are partitioning, like here we will partition. Later on, when we partition the array, we must make sure that the the head initial pointer is not equal to null. Or if there are not a single element, basically if, if the head matches with the tail, which means that we have a single element. So if we have single element, we don't have to sort it because the single element is already sorted by default. We simply will return it. Now we have it. We have a, another function of pivot. Okay. Now in quick sort algorithm, I hope you're familiar with quick sort. So in quick sort algorithm, we first select the pivot. The pivot can be any element, head or tail or median or can be whatever. So we are having the partition. Okay, the partition function will return a node. That is, the node will be our current pivot of the range. So let me explain the partition code uh, in detail. So let's suppose we have a test case like this. Okay, three, six, two, nine, and eight. At first, we'll have three pointers. Okay, the first one will be our pivot pointer. The second will be our current pointer. The third will be our pre pointer. Okay, so for some sake of simplicity, we are denoting pre pointer as p and current pointer as c okay so initially all three of them will be set to the head that is the three okay so p points towards here okay the three c points towards three as well okay the, it's also the pivot element now we we'll check if pivot element the data in the pivot element is greater than the current data in the current element or not okay so first we check it of course not because three is equal to three three is not greater than three okay so we just uh incremented now we are incremented the current moves towards the six okay now we will check so the previous was am okay three and the six so now three is not greater than six okay so we'll again move the increment uh, current pointer towards the right that is towards the two now we'll check if pivot is greater than current or not pivot is greater than current or not so here we can see that the pivot element is greater than the current element so if pivot element is greater than the current element we'll simply swap it okay what will swap we'll swap with the pre okay so first we'll do that we'll increment the pre pointer okay towards here towards the right that is six and then we'll swap pre with the current okay so when we swap pre with the current our list will some look something like that three Two, six, nine, and eight. Okay, the pre pointer will be pointing towards the node with the value of two, and the current node will be, you know, here. Then again, we'll increment our current pointer. So the current pointer will point towards nine. Now we'll check again. Three is greater than nine or not? The condition is false, so it will not move. So we'll again increment this to C and the C towards eight, and then we'll again check it. No, it doesn't make it satisfied. So basically, this this traversal will get over. Now we'll have to do just one final adjustment, one final swapping. We will swap the pre, okay, with the with the pivot, okay. So we'll swap pre, okay, with the pivot. So the pivot was at three, okay. So it was the pivot. So it was the pivot. So now we have the pivot as three and the pre as two. So we'll simply swap it, and when we swap it, the final linked list will look like this: two, three, six, nine, and eight. So now, if we look at it, the three will be pointing towards three. Okay, because earlier also we are not changing the position of three; we are just changing the data. Okay, we are just changing the data. We are not swapping the nodes as a whole. So the pre will be still pointing towards the the second element, that is uh, the the node with the value of three. Now, now if we check it. 
Okay, what was the pre, uh, pivot element? The pivot element was three. Okay, now we know in cutting quit sort, the pivot element after the partitioning is in its right position. Okay, which means that the left of the, the pivot element will always be smaller and the right, all of the right elements will be larger than the pivot element. Here we can see that, you know, this two, three, and this. So we can see that six, nine, and eight, all of them are right of three are greater than three and two, you know, and all the other left elements are lesser than three. So that is how quick sort works. Okay. So now here we want to make sure now here when we are partitioning, so we again go back to the code. So we get the pivot element. The pivot element will be the pre. Okay. Here in this case, it was three. So now we'll again recursively calling the function of Q sort and Q, QSRT. Okay. Now we'll pass on the arguments of like head in first and pivot as the last element okay and then in another quick sort function we'll have just pivot of next basically next of the pivot element and then tail okay uh, it's a typical quick sort if you if you know it okay this is a typical quick sort and here we can see that the head and the tail are included in the range which means that you know the loop will traverse from head to the tail basically the tail is also included that's why you know i'm using this bracket okay square brackets square bracket means it is included then again we're partitioning into head and then pre pre is the pivot basically that's what we are using okay because the partition function returns the pre uh, the pivot okay the pre has the pivot so we are having the head and the pre and then pre next of pre and then tail okay just like we do it in binary search and we'll do it in merge sort as well so that is our, our entire approach of this uh, uh, basically quick sort algorithm on linguist now if we look at the time complexity the time complexity of this uh, algorithm is big o of n log n okay why n log n because in in average test case, in average case why n log n because initially we are you know initially we are just uh, in every partitioning okay we are traversing the entire range okay so at worst case we can have we can will traverse the entire list okay so we are traversing the entire list so the n is due to that and login is due to because we are partitioning the array okay so we are partitioning the so we are using divide and conquer so this is divide and conquer method okay we, where we have a range and then we partition it split it into some smaller ranges and then we calculate it and then we get the final answer so when we are using this okay the pivot of this range will be finally in its right position now again we'll uh, uh, perform quick sort on these smaller sub ranges okay so totally in best case or in the average case the height of the tree of this uh, tree this qsrt tree okay this qsrt will be of uh, log n okay because you know we are we may partition the array and split it into half so we'll have a total of log n depth so n into log of n because you know that will be our average time complexity and best time complexity as well the worst time complexity we can have is of big o of n square okay big o of n square in worst case in worst case we can have the big o of n square because uh, you know when we are doing this head and tail it may be possible that you know we are only having one range okay of the extremes so that is the thing so that is why now the space complexity will be big o of one because here we are uh, using the most uh, optimized algorithm and uh, here we can see that in, uh, in uh, we, we are not using any extra space we are just using three pointers okay we are not using extra space excluding recursion stack which means the recursion itself takes some memory so we are not uh, ex we are excluding it we are not including it so we'll get a space complexity of big o of one so thank you
so hey all so this is a today's potd okay the potd title is quick sort on linked list so we are given a linked list we have to solve a given linked list using quick sort so so let's get to, straight to the code and i'll explain uh, all the all the code so at first what we're doing is so we, so we are given a function quick sort okay the default function so what we are doing is we have to first find the tail because the the in linked list we don't know the last element so first we are finding the tail for that find tail method we are using the find tail method simply run, traverses the loop and if the loop doesn't uh, basically uh, if the next part of the element uh, of the node doesn't get to the null so we will return it if, if the condition are tails we will simply return it the return node will be our tail the end point of the node okay now we are having a function of queues qsrt which is quick sort our custom quick sort function which will perform the recursively the quick sorting uh, algorithm so if since it's recursion we, we you know we need to have uh, a base condition the base condition will be that head must not be equal to null that is if when we are partitioning like here we will partition later on when we partition the array we must make sure that the, the head initial pointer is not equal to null or if there are not a single element basically if, if the head matches with the tail which means that we have a single element so if we have single element we don't have to sort it because the single element is already sorted by default we simply will return it now we have it we have a, another function of pivot okay now in quick sort algorithm i hope you're familiar with quick sort so in quick sort algorithm we first select the pivot the pivot can be any element head or tail or median or can be whatever so we are having the partition okay the partition function will return a node that is the node will be our current pivot of the range so let me explain the partition code uh, in detail so let's suppose we have a test case like this okay three six two nine and eight at first we'll have three pointers okay the first one will be our pivot pointer here it will be our pivot pointer the second will be our head pointer the third the second will be our current pointer the third will be our pre pointer okay so for some sake of simplicity we are denoting pre pointer as p and current pointer as c okay so initially all three of them will be set to the head that is to three okay yeah so three points towards here okay the three c points towards three as well okay the, it's also the pivot element now we we'll check if pivot element the data in the pivot element is greater than the current data in the current element or not okay so first we check it of course not because three is equal to three three is not greater than three okay so we just uh incremented now we are incremented the current moves towards the six okay now we will check so the previous was am okay three and the six so now three is not greater than six okay so we'll again move the increment uh, current pointer towards the right that is towards the two now we'll check if pivot is greater than current or not pivot is greater than current or not so here we can see that the pivot element is greater than the current element so if pivot element is greater than the current element pivot will simply swap it okay what will swap will swap with the pre okay so first we'll do that so we'll increment the pre pointer okay towards here towards the right that is six and then we we'll swap pre with the current okay so when we swap pre with the current our list will some look something like that three two six nine and eight okay the pre pointer will be pointing towards the node with the value of two and the current node will be you know here then again we'll increment our current pointer so the current pointer will point towards nine now we'll check again three is greater than nine or not the condition is false so it will not move so we'll again increment this to c and the c okay. towards eight and then we'll again check it no it doesn't we can satisfy so basically this this traversal will get over now we'll have to do just one final adjustment one final swapping we will swap the pre okay, okay. with the with the pivot okay so we'll swap pre okay with the pivot so the pivot was at three okay so it was the pivot okay so it okay. was the pivot so now we have the pivot as three and the three as two so we'll simply swap it and when we swap it the final English will look like this two three six nine and eight so now if we look at it the three will be pointing towards three okay because earlier also we are not changing the position of three we are just changing the data okay we are just changing the data we are not swapping the nodes as a okay. whole so the pre will be still pointed towards the, the second okay. element that is 
the the node with the value of three now. Now if we check it, okay, what was the pre, uh, pivot element? The pivot element was three. Okay, now we know in cut and quit sort the pivot element after the partitioning is in its right position. Okay, which means that the left of the the pivot element will always be smaller, and the right all of the right elements will be larger than the pivot element. Here we can see that you know this two three and this. So we can see that six, nine, and eight, all of them are right of three are greater than three, and two, you know, and okay. all the other left elements are lesser than three. So that is how quick sort works. Okay. So now here we want to make sure. Now here when we are partitioning, so we again go back to the code. Okay. So we get the pivot element. The pivot element will be the pre. Okay. Here in this case it was three. So now we'll again we are simply calling the function of Q sort and Q Q S R T. Okay, now we'll pass on the arguments of like head in first and pivot as the last element. Okay, and then in another quick sort function, we'll have just pivot of next, basically next of the pivot element, and then tail. Okay, uh, it's a typical quick sort if you if you know it. Okay, this is a typical quick sort, and here we can see that. The head and the tail are included in the range, which means that you know the loop will traverse from head to the tail. Basically, the tail is also included. That's why you know I'm using this bracket, the square brackets. Square bracket means it is included. Then again, we're partitioning into head and then pre. Pre is the pivot. Basically, that what we are using. Okay, because the partition function returns the okay uh, the pivot. Okay, the pivot. okay, as the pivot. So we are having the head and the pre. And then pre next of pre and then tail okay just like we do it in binary search and we we'll do it uh, in merge sort as well so that is our, our entire approach of this uh, uh, basically quick sort algorithm on linguist now if we look at the time complexity the time complexity of this uh, algorithm is big o of n log n okay why n log n because in in average test in average case why n okay. log n because initially we are you know initially we are just in every partitioning okay we are traversing the entire range okay so at worst case we can have okay. we can will traverse the entire list okay so we are traversing the entire list so okay. the n is due to that and log n is due to because we are partitioning the array okay so we are partitioning the so we are using divide and conquer so this is divide and conquer method okay we, where we have a range and then we partition it split it into some smaller ranges and then we calculate it and then we get the final answer so okay. when we are using this, okay, the pivot of this range will be finally in its right position. Now okay. again, we'll uh, uh, perform quick sort on these smaller sub ranges. Okay, so totally in best case or in the okay. average case, the height of the tree of this uh, tree, okay. this QSRT tree, okay, okay. QSRT will be of uh, log n, okay, because. You know, we are we may partition the array and split it into half, so we'll have a total of log and depth. So n into log of n because you know that will be our average time complexity and best time complexity as well. The worst time complexity we can have is of big O of n square. Okay, big O of n square in worst case. In worst case we can have the big O of n square because uh, you know okay. when we are doing this head and tail, it may be possible that you know we are only having one range. Okay, of the extremes so that is the thing so that is why okay. now the space complexity will be big of one because here we are uh, using the most uh, optimized algorithm and uh, here we can see that in, in uh, we, we are not using any extra space we are just using three pointers okay we are not using extra space excluding recursion stack which means the recursion itself takes some memory so we are not uh, ex we are excluding it we are not including it so we'll get space complexity of big of one so thank okay. you.